Inside, it was smelly and dark and not too happy. The angel and I went down to the end of the bar and stood under a blood red light while he searched his pockets for money. The angel and I ordered from the bartender. Welcome to the milk bar. What's it gonna be then, eh? I'll take a milk plus mezcal. I have the same. Who was suspicious? This was a place for regulars and nobody else. And certainly nobody else like me or the angel. The angel knew that even stronger than I did, but he just stood and pretended to sip his drink without looking at me. He was all pulled into himself and I was hovering around the edges. I knew he was still pretty panicked and trying to figure out what he could do next. As close as I was, if he had to get, a, to get real far away, he was going to have a problem, and so was I. He'd have to tow me along with him, and that wasn't the most practical thing to do. I was trying to figure out what I could do for him now when the bartender came back. There wasn't enough money for two more drinks, so he smiled at the bartender and slid his hand across the bar and put it on top of the bartender's. It was tricky doing it this way. The bartender looked at the angel with his eyes half closed. The bartender's free hand dipped down below the bar and came up with a small club and caught angel just over the ear. We were lucky they didn't much feel like killing anybody. Angel went out the door first and they tossed me out on top of him. As soon as I landed on him, I knew we were both in trouble. Something was broken angel. inside. So much for keeping out of harm's way. <clears throat> Ugh. I'll take you, and you follow in the back seat, Pat. Where are you taking me? All right, for the moment. Why does she talk out loud like that? Because she knows it bothers me. My friend and I are together. You and I are not. Ecstatic! But that won't make me let you go. I'll drop your pet near the nearest hospital and then we'll go home. I missed you so much, I can't stand it without you. Without you making things happen, doing your little miracles. You know I get addicted to it. All the things you can do to people, then just took off. I don't know what happened to you. And it hurt. I was in real pain. You must have been too, weren't you? I wasn't so sure I wanted it. But I didn't think I'd be able to stop it either. Any more than I could stop my heart from beating. Maybe it wasn't really such a good thing or a right thing. But it was like the angel said. The universe doesn't know good or bad. Only, more, only less or more. Yeah, I heard that. I kept walking toward the city.